Hey, what's going on, you foodies? Welcome back, and those who are new, welcome to my multiverse of cooking. So today I got something really special to use that even hearing this word, it makes me think of Italian mob. And to me, uh, what captures me the most, is probably one of my favorite movies, is it's called the good. It's called Goodfellas, and when Vinny says, "Leave the gun, but take the cannolis," you know them things are delicious. So don't worry, I got you guys. I'm going to teach you guys how to make these and even make everybody, all your friends, want to be like, oh man, them things are good. So let's get it going, everybody. So here we're going to get everything set up for our dough. So we're going to put this in a food processor. We're going to take two cups of all-purpose flour. We're going to take a tablespoon of cinnamon, a tablespoon of espresso powder, doesn't matter which one. Then we're going to take a teaspoon of cocoa powder and then a teaspoon of nutmeg. That's optional, you don't have to. Then here we're going to take a cup and a half of actual powdered sugar. I sifted mine, you don't have to, but I sifted mine just to make sure I don't get any clumps in there. But now we're going to give that a good mix up. Now once everything is mixed up, we're going to start assembling our dough. Things mixed up, we're going to start assembling it over here. So here you're going to take 6 ounces of uh, dry white wine. I couldn't find the actual wine you need here, but don't worry, you can use white wine. Then we're going to do 2 tablespoons of cubed softened butter and then 1 egg. We're gonna give that a good mix up until everything starts to come a little bit together. It's kind of, kind of, to me, kind of reminds me of like Play-Doh a little bit, um, but don't worry, everything's gonna come together in the long run. So here, we're gonna give this a little until everything starts to come together, you know, become one cohesive ball. We're gonna knead it like that. After kneading for about five to eight minutes, it's gonna start to smooth out like this. Then we're gonna go ahead and treat this kind of like how pasta dough is. We're just gonna wrap it up real tight and let it rest for about an hour to an hour and a half. Then we're gonna bring it back out and we're gonna roll it out. So once our dough has actually got a good time to rest and done taking its tap, we're gonna go ahead and pretty much roll this out. Here, we're gonna roll this pretty thin. I did mine about a quarter of an inch or so. I, I, I didn't measure it out, but I know it's pretty thin. But uh, you guys can watch me struggle do this. Um, this dough is pretty hard to roll out, but it you know comes out something good. So after we get it rolled to about uh, a quarter inch or so, we can go ahead and start cutting them out for the actual cannoli. Now after that intense shoulders and arms workout, we're gonna go ahead and start cutting the actual thing out here. Uh, I think this is either three and three quarters or maybe a four inch uh, uh, cutter. Um, feel free to use whatever you want. Um, this is what I used. So we're gonna pretty much just, after we roll the dough, we're gonna cut these out and then we're gonna get these set up to actually uh, roll out so we can put them on our little cannoli tins. Once you got these rolled out and cut out, we're gonna let these rest for about 30 minutes. And while those rest, we can go ahead and get our little cannoli, I don't even know what they're called, little cannoli, I, I don't know. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and get those nice and uh, oiled up, you know, so um, everything comes out smooth. So here I just use some uh, canola oil um, spray that I have. Um, if you don't have it, you can use butter or um, any type of oil yourself. Uh, we're gonna get these real nice and lubed up, and then we're gonna go ahead and start rolling everything. Now to wrap these, it's pretty much easy. You're gonna take your little tin or whatever you wanna call it, pretty much place it in the center, and you're gonna take one side, fold it over, and you're gonna take a little bit of egg wash, and then you're gonna put it onto the other side and 
pretty much just roll out over roll over it or whatever so and it should stick um while we do that we'll go ahead and get our oil uh hot we want this about 365 um you don't want it too high you don't want it too low so it's not you know it's just gonna soak and then fall apart so when we get everything set up we're gonna go ahead and start frying these bad boys everything rolled up and our oil's hot we're gonna get going so here we're gonna let these fry at 365 for about five minutes um, halfway through just kind of try to flip them um, just because you don't want the bottoms to burn we're gonna once we are done making or cooking these or frying these we're gonna go put these on a paper towel and make sure we get all that um, oil off so it doesn't become um, actual like soggy and stuff like that uh, once all these are done, we're going to get our filling ready. Now for this filling, it's really simple. I took 20 ounces of ricotta cheese that I put out the little, I put it out and let it sit in a strainer so you get all that liquid out. You don't want this to be too runny. Then we're going to take 8 ounces of mascarpone cheese. Once that goes, we can get that little nice and mixed together well. And don't forget, every good every good cook or baker always knows you get a wipe down the sides. So once the sides are wiped down and get that good little mix up, then we got to start adding uh, powdered sugar in here. Um, I pretty much just played it by eye. You kind of want it to look kind of like a frosting almost inside. Um, so that's pretty much what you're going for. I think I used about a cup, cup and a half of actual uh, powdered sugar, just enough so I can get that nice creamy texture on there. Once this is going, we're gonna put this into a piping bag. You can make these cannolis any way you want, but here I decided to take um, some chocolate, melt it down, and put the tips in it. Just the tip, you know. We all, you know, men, we always say just the tip. Make sure you don't put all of it in there. <laughs> but I digress. Anyway, let's go. Once we dip these, we're gonna let these sit for about 10 minutes until that chocolate gets a little bit hard, and then we're gonna start piping these bad boys up. Time to start piping these. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know what I was doing. I wasn't paying attention to late at night. I didn't back up the camera or zoom out the camera so you guys can see me actually doing this. But no worries. We're gonna continue on as is. So here, you're gonna pretty much take your uh, piping bag and you're give, gonna give it a good squeeze inside and uh, fill it up with that nice creamy filling. Uh, once everything do that, we're gonna pretty much take some uh, mini chocolate chips here and we're gonna go and decorate them that way um, there's many other ways you can do it with you know raspberry a simple one I just decided to use chocolate chips so these are a semi-sweet mini chocolate chip that you, uh, you can just sprinkle on the sides and it will stick to it So that pretty much wraps up this video. If you guys enjoyed this, don't forget to hit that like button. I'm still on a new channel, I'm still trying to grow it, and it really helps out, you know, the whole YouTube mathematical equation algorithm stuff that nobody understands what's going on, but don't worry. 
Also, if you guys are new here, don't be afraid to hit that subscribe button and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any more my videos. So without further ado, catch you guys back here next time on another episode. Peace! Do you really want to know what's better than a nice creamy filling? That's right. B-roll.